Well, as the saying goes, there are lies, damn lies, and then statistics. So basically, uh, we're catching the end result of that saying, the statistics, as applied to policing. And what I think it boils down to is profiling uh, legitimized by statistics. So basically, the police uh, in concocting this whole pseudo-scientific uh, model of predictive policing will be using a whole bunch of fancy numbers and statistics to try to legitimize what they want to do, um, which is profile certain groups and keep certain groups criminalized. And we saw the results of this in New York um, with the stop and frisk law. Who were the end recipients of uh, that type of predictive policing? Um, well, it was the black community. It was poor, disenfranchised young black men. And thankfully here in California, San Francisco, California, our mayor, um, Ed Lee, rejected the stop and frisk law. Uh, I believe uh, we actually voted against it. But, you know, all this is going to do is give uh, law enforcement and other entities just another tool to lie to you and manipulate your mind and reasoning so that they can keep certain groups that they consider undesirable or troublesome, like political dissidents and protesters and possibly certain economic groups, even minorities, to keep them uh, oppressed and downtrodden and perpetually criminalized, making you a permanent criminal. And that's, that's basically the goal uh, in a society like what we've got today, where control is paramount, the way that they control you is by making you a criminal in everything that you do. That way, you're never free. You know, they can always uh, bust you for spitting on the sidewalk, say. And now you're on probation. Now you're under control. We get to determine your behavior. And if you don't like it, we can lock you up. All under the, the guise and all under the fallacy of legality, and legitimacy, and now they're throwing in scientific uh, legitimacy as well. But it's it's all just a lie. It's just another tool that they're going to use to keep people down that they don't want uh, challenging the establishment or challenging the way things are done. Also, another way to keep you from participating in society. So, uh, yeah, this this is bad.